Out of the 2.5 million tickets available, we already sold around 2 million tickets. So that's, uh, that's good. We know that we will continue to sell tickets over the, the next days and probably till the end of the Games. It's been the case for the Olympics. We, we sold tickets till the last, uh, the last day, even the last hour. Uh, and, and that's been uh, quite uh, exciting for us to see that uh, fans till the end were excited and, and really wanted to take the last opportunities. So we can expect it will be also the case with the launch of the opening ceremony, with the launch of the first competitions. Uh, we can expect that there will be also new fans interested in being part of, of, the, of the Paralympics uh, at the end. So there are still uh, around 500,000 tickets available in uh, many sports. So don't hesitate to, uh, to seize uh, those opportunities. These athletes are here to compete. They are rivals. They want, you know, the tenth of the second, the one centimeter. They want the small difference. And still, they live together in the Paralympic Village, a place that is absolutely accessible, uh, under the same roof, in peace. And why the world cannot be, <clears throat> sorry, like that, outside of the Paralympic Village, outside of the Paralympic Games, outside of the Paris 2024 uh, uh, umbrella. So in that sense, yes, it's disappointing that if we give persons with disability an opportunity, they can excel. But we don't want that only in sport. That's why we say change starts with sport, but we want this in the boardroom, in the classroom, we want this in the communities, we want this in every different society. So if we want change to start with sport, but goes uh, beyond that. That being said, uh, we want them to focus on that, focus on their performances, focus on in their responsibility as persons with disability who, who are in the most important platform on the planet for persons with disability to advance the agenda the human rights agenda of persons with disability, and despite what is going on in different parts of the world, to focus on that. Uh, it's just disgraceful that in 2024 we are in that, uh, we are seeing what we're seeing in the news in terms of conflicts around the world, in terms of polarization, in terms of hostility, in terms of basically people just don't being able to live together.